Good day everyone. Today we will be discussing about introduction to multimedia. So at the end of the presentation, the student should be able to uh, discuss the concepts of multimedia, list the elements of multimedia, enumerate the different applications of multimedia, describe the different stages of multimedia software development. So for our lesson presentation for today, uh, we have here an introduction, elements of multimedia system, categories of multimedia, features of multimedia, importance of multimedia system, stages of multimedia, application development. For a short introduction uh, regarding multimedia uh, definition, multimedia is the media that uses no multiple forms no multiple forms of information content and information processing to inform or entertain the user multimedia also refers to the use of electronic media to store and experience multimedia content so based from here multimedia per se uses multiple forms of information content and we will discuss later on uh, different kinds of information contents and uh, most specifically uh, elements of multimedia so as a heads up actually there are five types of uh, or elements of uh, multimedia so it has uh, multiple forms no just as text uh, image audio video and animation so the elements of multimedia as we have said uh, earlier Multimedia means that a computer information can be represented through audio, graphics, image, video, and animation in addition to traditional media, text, which is a text and a graphics. So the first element of a multimedia system is text. So what is a text? So a text is any object, no? any object that can be read. No? So, whether this uh, object, um, a work of literature, such as this one, a street sign, such as this one, an arrangement of buildings on city blocks, uh, or styles of clothing, such as this one. So, it is coherent set on set of signs that transmits an, uh, some kind of informative message. So, any type of text that you can read is actually... Uh, type of a multimedia system so the newspaper uh, this actually no uh, the one that you're reading right, right now no is actually a type of text which is a multimedia no? so the next one is image so what is an image so image is a visible impression obtained by a camera telescope microscope or other device or uh, displayed on a computer or video screen so competent computer literate skills in graphic art and design are vital to the success of a multimedia project so images so this is actually familiar to you so uh, the photos in your phone no uh, the photos in a uh, in your frame such as etc so when you um, type a uh, google search for example, on a computer and it displays an image of a computer. So, that's, uh, that's an element of a multimedia system. So, you can see also in the, uh, the following figures, uh, the image of um, a mountain, no? Ice cold mountain. Um, this one is a bridge. This one is a goose, no? And uh, Ojo. No? So, the third element of a multimedia system is audio. So, it is a meaningful speech in any language from a whisper to a scream. It can provide a listening pressure of music. So, this is a terminology used in the analog form and digitized form of sound is actually called audio. The digital, uh, let's emphasize that one. So, the digital form of sound is actually audio. So, when we say analog form, as we have learned on our uh, uh, on your past experiences so analog form is actually in a continuous form uh, based with respect to time 
no? Such as uh, the way I'm speaking right now, it is in analog form. And um, from that analog form, it will be converted uh, through digital signal processing by use of our uh, computer and it will be digitalized. So when we say digitalized, it contains actually in a... Uh, forms of ones and zeros no and then after that uh, some processing has been done on our uh, audio or on our speech in order to eliminate some noise etc um, due to statics to, uh, caused by electrical um, disturbances and others no uh, that will be converted again into the analog form through the output which is a speaker no? so the third element is actually audio the fourth element of a multimedia system is a video. So, video is an electronic medium for no, recording, copying, playback, broadcasting, and display of moving visual media. So, the video no, that I will be sharing to you or the recording that I will be sharing that to you, such as this one, is actually a kind of multimedia no? presented only in a PPT form but it is in a video form. So, as shown in this um, clip, so uh, so this uh, it is a kind of a video. And of course, uh, when you watch uh, your favorite Netflix movies, your favorite animations, YouTube videos, so that's an example of a multimedia also. So, Nanay, mommy, animation. Mama. So, let's stop this one first. Sila so, animation is the rapid display of sequence of images of 2D artwork or a modal position in order to create an illusion of movement. So, actually, the left side is actually just uh, an imaged uh, per se. So, however, you, uh, you are familiar with this movie which is a Lion King. No? So, the Lion King movie... Um, is actually an animation and together with this uh, right part of um, my presentation uh, it is an animation no? so actually it is a rapid display of a sequence of images only so let's uh, try to uh, look at the video no? and watch the animation uh, by the way it's just um, less than 3 minutes or um, Yung madalas mabunganga Yung kala mo machine gun yung bibig nila kung rumatrat eh no Yung mapapatakip ka na lang ng tenga dahil di mo siya mapigilan Yung gustong gusto mo magpaliwanag pero di ka makasabat Ano ba yan anak? Gabing gabi na Bakit lumabas ka pa? Shh, shh, shh. Ay nay Di ba pinabili nyo ako ng toyo? Hehe <laughs> Hais, ewan ko ba sa mga babae? Mas matoyo pa sa dato puti. Pero kahit ganyan yan, sila yung ilaw natin sa tahanan. Dapat nga thankful tayo, di ba? Dahil inalagaan tayo ng 9 months sa tiyan niya. Kahit alam niya ang pag iniri ka na, eh lalaki kang pasaway at ang pangit-pangit mo pa. Hehe. <laughs> Uy, anong pangit? Ang cute-cute kaya ng anak ko. Maghugas ka ng pinggan. Mahiya ka naman. Pati yung naglinis ka ng buong bahay nyo, nagkuskus ka pa ng inidoro, tapos pagdating niya galing palengke, Oy! Puro ka higa! Puro ka silpon! Ay ma! Ang kintab nun sa higo! Oh. Hehe! Pati yung inutusan ka sa labas, tapos pag uwi mo at kakaupo mo pa lang, Oy nak! Bili ka naman ng bawang! Sige po ma, basta sa akin sukli Hehe, ano akala mo sa akin? Nagtatain ng pera? Eh ma, yung sinabi nyo pong itatago nyo ng inapamaskuhan ko Nasaan na po? Ah, ngayon naniningil ka Eh kung singiling ko kaya lahat ng pinakain ko sa iyo Sabi ko nga po hindi na, hehe Pero wag kayo Alam nyo yon sa milyon-milyong chef sa mundo Pero luto ni nanay is my favorite Sa kanapansin nyo ba? Parang may magic si nanay natin. Yung pag may hinahanap ka at di mo makita. Nay, nasan yung favorite short ko? Nak, nandyan lang yon Nay, wala talaga dito. Pag yan nakita ko, makikita mo hinahanap mo. Nani? Eh ano to ha? What the? You so amazing, mother. Naalala ko pa nga nung bata pa ako eh. Sobrang drama ko. Lagi na lang ako pinapagalitan. Di nyo ako mahal. Lalayas na ako. De, joke lang. Alam nyo kasi kids, pinapagalita kayo ni nanay nyo kasi ayaw nilang mapahama kayo. Kasi mahal niya kayo. Gusto niya, lumaki kayo ng maayos. Kaya, nay, Mahal kita. Mama mo pangit. Mama mo mas pangit. Mama mo may tayo sa puwet. Mama mo. Mama mo. Mama mo. Hoy! Magkapatid kayo! Hehe. <laughs> kayo ba? Ano best line ng nanay nyo? 
So let's proceed to the categories of multimedia. So multimedia may be broadly divided into linear and nonlinear categories. So when we say uh, linear, so it is actually uh, without no without any navigation control, such as cinema presentation, just as we have explained uh, a while back. Uh, as an example, so the movies that you watched, no, in a cinema, movies that you watched in uh, uh, the network, so GMA7, uh, ABS-CBN, uh, TV5, uh, all of that broadcast is actually uh, without your uh, navigation or without your control. So it is actually broadcasted without your control. So that is actually a linear type of a multimedia. So the uh, non-linear type of multimedia is actually interactive to control no so just as highlighted in our presentation so progress are uh, used with computer game or used in self-paced computer based training so uh, most popular uh, mobile application or mobile game application uh, these days is actually mobile legend so that uh, kind of uh, that's uh, one category of a multimedia which is a non-linear so you can control its movements so you can control uh, how your uh, hero would uh, behave etc so features of a multimedia so we have numerous uh, features of a multimedia so kindly focus uh, with these slides no since one of your lesson and activity it pertains to this one so you will describe actually as a heads up so you will um, describe in a on uh, an educational no an educational multimedia so you will find no you will find an educational multimedia and describe its features no so uh, actually you can um, the features of a multimedia is it can be viewed in person on stage or uh, projected transmittedly or it can be played locally with a media player so one example for this one is uh, it can be viewed in person on stage is actually in concert no so if ever you had uh, watched a uh, consort of your favorite uh, 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 singer no so um, live show so so that uh, one feature is actually viewed in version and you can uh, and uh, for example if one of your friends has recorded that and uh, put it on a flash drive and it uh, it has been played on your computer so actually it, uh, the one feature is played locally no so next one is broadcast may be viewed live or recorded such as shown in this one live or recorded so with features is live or recorded so live is actually viewed in person recorded is actually played locally on your media player or on your computer next one is can be it can be downloaded or streamed no so the uh, most popular no uh, example for this one is uh, Netflix no Netflix application on our phone or on our desktop so if for example you have the watched no um, some of you maybe had watched uh, money heist no money heist on a uh, Netflix so if for example you have you are hooked on that series no so you will be downloading no downloading uh, that series and then uh, uh, it can be played offline no and the streamed a feature of a multimedia uh, it can be only played uh, actually online no uh, streaming multimedia may be live or on demand. Multimedia games and simulations may be used in the physical environment with special effects. And of course, another feature is it is can be multiple users on online or it can be locally, it can be offline, etc. So to summarize this one, uh, features of a multimedia, uh, when you are asked, so for, uh, for example, uh, just as my example a while back so money heist example so i can if i were to 
judge it based on these features it can be i can say that it is recorded no in in, in terms of its broadcast so it is recorded and uh, it can be either downloaded or streamed no and uh, with respect to this one uh it can be either offline and online so three categories and three features either live or recorded next one is downloaded or streamed and online and offline so for example another example is that when you we watch on our television set uh 24 horas no so with respect to its features so it is live no live lived and uh, streamed with respect to downloaded or stream it is streamed and it is offline no strictly speaking so the 24 horas is actually live streamed and offline now let's proceed to importance of multimedia multimedia finds its application in various areas including but not limited to advertisements art education entertainment engineering medicine mathematics business scientific research and spatial temporal applications so a few application areas of multimedia are listed below so importance of multimedia is actually here in a business part so it uses an application sales and marketing presentations as shown in this image so actually you will do, present on your company uh, using powerpoint slides so that's uh, kind of uh, that's one of the importance of multimedia so trade uh, trade show also and um, trade show and also staff training applications so this one sample of a trade show where you have, will showcase no showcase your products and services to be provided to your client and that will require no that will require a short animation a short uh, video to describe your product and the services to the public similarly for the staff training applications uh, with regards to that uh, to that one in uh, also using powerpoint uh, uh, presentations no or uh, in actual staff training and uh, that will be presented as a multimedia uh, on a business uh, side as an importance also now for the education it can be coursework and uh, simulations no uh, with respect to this one, as, you, as shown in this image, it is simulation, flight simulation actually. No? And another one, if you are familiar with uh, designing, no? designing a circuit using, uh, what do you call this one? So, circuit simulation no? or national instrument NI no? simulation tools. So, after designing the circuit, and then we will simulate no simulate uh, with respect to zero volts up to 24 volts for example uh, what will be the response of its current no etc and another importance of multimedia with respect to e-learning or in distance learning one example is that is our um our LMS, no? That one. Oh, here is the uh, e-learning system of St. Mary's University that we are using. So, actually, multimedia per se. So, you can see an image with respect to this one, a text with respect uh, to this one, no? text, graphics, etc. So, this... Uh, kind uh, uh, this kind of platform is actually important in education no? so it's one of the importance of uh, multimedia and then information searching so google search you can uh, look for images videos animations etc and then another benefit is on entertainment no 
So games, leisures, uh, movies on demand, Netflix, YouTube, etc. And another one is for public places, information kiosk, no? Information kiosk. So as shown here, uh, it is an information kiosk. For example, in uh, SM Supermark. So have you encountered on the entrance? Uh, if you are, let's say, finding a place for a red ribbon and you don't know uh, where to go since you are not yet familiar to that place, no? So you can look look for a red ribbon place on the in their information kiosk. By the way, kiosk is actually a uh, localized uh, or, or a machine, no? Or a machine that actually can provide you information no? towards something. And uh, that's and for the smart cards and security, one example is the ATM machine, no? So, it's kind of interactive in uh, nature, no? So, there are uh, sounds, there are videos, no? Animations on the screen of an ATM, no? Uh, with, uh, together with the security features of the ATM itself. Now, for the stages of multimedia, and its applications so planning and uh, costing so the first stage is planning and costing so this stage of multimedia application is the first stage which begins with an idea or need no? it is also necessary to estimate the time needed to prepare our elements of multimedia and prepare a budget accordingly so the first step is planning and uh, costing which begins in your idea and uh, prepare for a budget no? for um, let's say for example a client had approached you to build no to build a or to develop to develop a logo to its company so you would ask your client to provide you some specific details of his or her goals goals to the business so in the, it's team no so what color uh, he or she likes so what's what's the main uh, um, genre what's the main genre of the business itself for example it is for fitness no so somehow it has a you know, gym no it is for food business so and uh, what specific graphics he or she likes so does she likes a barb um dumb, uh, dumbbell with respect to uh, fitness no uh with respect to food uh, does she like to have it uh potato in it etc so that begins with an idea and after that based on the suggestions based on the in your collaboration and brainstorming with your client so you will now be prepared a uh, budget with respect to the uh, requirement of your client no? so the first one is planning and uh, costing and after that one you will now begin your duty as a designer no so you will be designing and producing the logo itself uh, building the business logo so ex this step is actually execution and creating a finished product number uh, three is testing so testing a product ensure the product to be free from bugs and ensure that uh, that the multimedia application meets the objectives of the report no? so basically on our example um, for the logo the site so it must be free from any mistakes no for example uh the circle should be of course perfectly circle and uh, the resolution is very good and if for example it has been printed so that will be free from any um mistakes and uh, 
the best thing is actually on the if for example you are on a programming uh, side business and you are actually developing a program or a game development for a program no on the games so basically when you run the program it must be error error free no uh, free from bugs next one is delivery so the final stage of the multimedia application is actually uh, the delivering stage so it is a pack the product pack the product and deliver so the completed project to the end user so this stage has several steps such as implementation maintenance shipping and marketing the product so this is the last stage for a multimedia application so as you can uh, see here so it must be in nice for example in our logo design it should be on a clean folder so together with the color that you use so why do you use that object on that uh, logo design that you are uh, building no etc <clears throat> So, were the learning objective met? So, we have discussed the concept of multimedia. And then, we, uh, we have said that multimedia is actually collection of many information. Such as text, audio, uh, image, video, and animation. So, uh, the list of elements of multimedia, such as I have said. So, there are five elements of multimedia. So, text, image, uh, audio, video, and animation. So, enumerate the different applications of multimedia. So, we have said about uh, business, uh, education, entertainment, public places. And number four, describe the different stages of multimedia software development. The first one is actually here, planning and costing. Second one is designing and producing. Third one is testing. And then the fourth one is actually delivering the product. And uh, our next topic is an overview to graphics design. And for our uh, lesson and activities, you will be asked to review no, review any two educational multimedia and enumerate their features. Such as we have said, uh, I, it, it, uh, describe, no? describe it if it is alive and uh, live or recorded no? or downloaded or streamed or online or offline. So, and also, kindly download and install MS Publisher, Adobe Photoshop, and Illustrator, and Illustrator for our graphics design application. So, that ends our presentation for today. Uh, thank you and have a good day.